everybody hope you're keeping really really well and having an amazing day now in this video I'm going to be sharing with you repotting my Ripsalis cactus have a look at this here it's a beautiful plant and I've had it for a good few years but as you can see it's very very root bound all the roots are coming up to the top so it's time for a repot now I'm going to be honest with you I'm not quite sure how I'm going to repot this because I've never repotted a hanging basket before so it's all going to be fun and games so then, let's get going. Now what I'd recommend is using an orchid compost rather than a cactus compost. You can use a cactus compost, but personally I find from experience with these plants, because they're rainforest cacti and they grow naturally hanging off trees, I find that they grow much better in an orchid style compost like this one here. And then obviously what you need to do then is get the next size pot up, which in this case is this size here, and hanging basket one preferably obviously with the clips, which is great. And this one has also has got the saucer already attached to it, which is really handy because obviously hang, hanging baskets when you go to water and the water comes out and goes everywhere, a bit like a shower. <laughs> so there you go. Now what I've done is the night before, last night, I gave it a good water to loosen up the root ball and then it means I can give it a really, really good squeeze all around it to loosen it up. Now just a little tip, if you've got a desert cactus, obviously don't water it the night before because you don't want to obviously get any damage to the roots. But with a rainforest cactus, they're quite, they're fine with, with the water so, and they repair their roots very easily. So a really good squeeze, like so. Now this is going to be fun and games to repot because obviously you can imagine a hanging basket, a normal plant you can just put down to repot but this actually needs to be held up in the air. Now I'm very lucky I've got my wonderful partner Sean here so he's going to actually help me with the repot and he's going to hold it up for me while I remove the pot. <laughs> so if you've got someone to help you that's a really really good tip. Now obviously the trailing stems with the Ripsalis plants and the similar ones, all of the epiphyllums as well. When you tend to repot them, they, they do drop a lot of their leaves. Now this is nothing to worry about because with these stems, if they fall off, I just leave them for a day or two so they form a skin underneath, a thick scab, and then pop it back into the pot and they root like anything. A lot of these have all what's fell off and are put in there and they root really, really easy. All down here as well, that's natural corking with age. It's often that's a, that's a natural thing so don't have to worry about anything like that on your plant. So here we go. This is all going to be fun and games. <laughs> I don't know what to expect so going to be fun. Right now what we've tried to do is we've tried to get it out of the pot by squeezing it like that and loosening up the root ball but it wouldn't come out so obviously further inspection there as you can see there the roots are actually come through right the bottom of the pot on the saucer. Now the trouble is with these hanging baskets is the saucers are actually actually stuck onto the bottom of the pot so obviously I don't want to damage the roots so what I'm going to do here is instead of actually trying to get it out and damaging the roots is I'm going to actually cut the pot because it's plastic. I'm going to obviously, for the sake of a pot, they're dime a dozen rather than the plant, cut the pot and then take the plant out that way. Now when you're using the secker tools, always make sure that when you're cutting around the pot that you put the round end in first. And obviously very gently going around the pot, the less damage to the root system the better. Obviously gently pulling the saucer from underneath the pot away. As you can see, it's very root bound, so I should have repotted this a long time ago. but. Might be a good idea to also wear gloves because with sharp plastic, it can be very sharp on your fingers, as sharp as the cactus thorns, in fact. So just protect your fingers when you're doing this in your hands, obviously. Now, obviously, cut as much of the plastic away as possible. There's less root damage. And the good thing is with the rainforest cacti, such as Ripsalis, is that if the roots get damaged, they repair themselves much, much easier. There's far less chance of rot than there is with the desert cacti. As the desert cacti are very prone to rot if the roots get damaged. But Ripsal is very good at repairing themselves. And there you go, there's the pot off! Yay! <laughs> 
There you go, now time for his new part. There you go, that's it out of its pot. That's brilliant. And it's got a really good root system, which I'm really pleased about. As always, it's always a really good opportunity to check the root system whenever you repot a plant. In this case, it's got a great compact root system, good healthy roots. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently loosen up the roots at the bottom because it helps take to the new compost when you loosen up the roots first. And obviously, the pot the next size up, this one here, and put a good at least two to three inches of compost at the bottom. In this case, I'm using the orchid compost. So what I'll make sure is do is that I go around every single part of the plant, all around the pot, make sure that it's neatly tucked in, there's no air pockets anywhere at all. And then I'll carry on doing that around the whole of the rest of the plant and then I'll show you the finished result. Now, obviously you don't want to go too high with the soil. Make sure you leave about half an inch to an inch so when you water it, it doesn't obviously go over. That's the finished result. Isn't it wonderful in its lovely new pot and it's conserved here, looks lovely at home there. Now what I'd recommend is, as with any cactus, when you repot it, whether it's a rainforest or a desert cacti, wait at least two weeks before you start watering them again. This gives it a chance for the roots to acclimatise and to repair any damage and also the plant to get used to its new pot. So I hope you liked the video. If you haven't done already, please do subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like for me, I'd really appreciate that. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter now as well, so you can follow me on there. I'm going to be sharing lots of tips about cacti and some of the wonderful flowers on there with you all. So as always, send you loads and loads of love and happiness from Ireland as always, and until the next video.